Hey, how you all doing? Welcome to this Pixelmator photo tutorial or run through if you like. Um, what do I use Pixelmator photo for? Um, just simple edits of images. But the great thing is, is if you use it, you can actually use it in a, um, I would say, a professional capacity if you were um, if you were on the move. So let's have a look what this does in comparison to. Obviously, most people would use Lightroom Classic, and if you want to compare anything to Lightroom Classic, Pixelmator Photo is probably not the thing. Um, that's more of Pixelmator Pro. But I'm going to do a um, I'm going to do a comparison sort of um, tutorial on that very soon. So just for this instance, you know, let's just talk about Lightroom. Um, not Lightroom Classic, just Lightroom, and how this compares to Lightroom. Is it is it a great, worthy alternative? I think it's better than, um, I prefer, no one say better, I prefer using it to Lightroom. So let's get on. So here, the good thing about any Pixelmator product is that it feeds directly into the Apple ecosystem. So what you can see here is, I've created a demo album on the left, um, and as you can see, I'm gonna edit a raw image that I have recently taken um, for a client for a product shoot. So, yeah, you've got all the albums on the left-hand side and you can choose direct from your photos. It doesn't have to be a raw image, it can be any image. And the, the thing with the images as well is if you edit one of your images that you've taken with your mobile dev device, iPhone, iPad, don't take pictures of your iPad, but yeah, anyway, you know what I mean, um, then you can edit and save in the same location. So you just save the edits that you make in Pixelmator direct to your photo album and it overwrites the image that you've already taken. So up here, three dots, um, shows you what I can do. Save the image quality to use when automatically save changes or sharing images to other apps. So you can choose the image quality in which you, which you save at, right? So whatever you want to that to be. And then this is what I was just talking about more uh, more editing you can preserve the edits so you can edit and um, overwrite the pictures that you've already got or you can use the iCloud to uh, to save the edits and then in your photos Pixelmator photo album if I turn this Pixel Pixelmator photo album off it will ask me if I want to delete that album um, I didn't let it delete it I just removed it or didn't show it so now I'm going to show it and that Pixelmator photo and it just any edit edits that I've also created will save in that album as well. And you can view the albums as a list or you can view the albums um, as um, in alphabetical single order, whatever you want to do. So show files and um, like this and it'll just show you any linked files that you have. And then you go back to your iCloud, go back. One other thing that you can also do, you can, um, these are just recent locations or recent images that I've looked at. You can see lots and lots of images that I've looked at and you can um, display how you view these. So you can view them as icons, list, um, columns, and you can also sort them by name, date. You can actually edit the sidebar here as well, look. So you can choose what is on your sidebar. Incidentally, if you wanna go back to your um, photos, you just select the three dots again where I selected files, show photos, and you'll go back to the original where your um, where your photo albums are. Okay, so that's so let me select this raw file, and then I'm gonna opt to edit this. So when I opt to edit it, it will obviously download it. Now I have a few things across the top. So this little um, wand with ML. Um, that just stands for machine learning and um, and Pixelmator claim that they have trialed this through a couple of million of images and it's basically, yeah, they've gone through machine learning, you know what machine learning is. And this is like super, if I select this here, it's like ML, um, machine learning super resolution and it just take its time to go through that process and just really enhance the image for you. Um, um, on the next one along, we've got this. Let me just see what this ML wand does, right? So look, it sort of warm, warms the image, brings the greens through, sharpens it slightly. Just, yeah, so that based on the machine learning, it does pull all the colors through. And then what you can do is you can look at the, um, the sliders, the adjustment sliders here, um, turn the machine learning on, turn the machine learning off and it will adjust the sliders. And you can directly then 
continue your edit from there, right? But one of the nice things that I, I quite like about this is you can do this during any phase of the edit as well. You've got this little slider bar here on the left hand side and you can see, you know, it's almost like the before and after on Lightroom. Um, what is that? It's not X, is it? It's um, backspace, isn't it? Not back, no, it's not backspace, backslash, isn't it? On the in Lightroom Classic where you um, view it before and you view it after you get to see what it's like along the bottom we've got lots of um, presets different types of preset as well and then you can create your own so i've just created one quickly here's like a dramatic one and that's given me not far off the actual look that i want to do um, but yeah you just basically let me quickly look at heel right so heel there's not a lot you can do with heel remember this is like i said uh, a replacement Lightroom, not a Lightroom Classic and Photoshop, just a Lightroom, okay? And I'll do the Pixelmator um, Pro app, um, Mac app um, tutorial to later date. So here we just increase, decrease the size of our, um, of our brush. And then this little, um, little thing here, I wanna get rid of this piece of cotton. So let me just remove this like this and it will it will remove it quite nicely for us you see so but that's about all you can do you can't um you can't then go and um clone anything you know so we could clone the stitching and stuff like that and just remove make this a little bit smaller and just paint that out so it didn't do that very well so i'm just going to click undo up here but um i think it will there we go that's a little bit better I was going to say if I could sort of clone and this edge here, if I could clone that, it would probably be a little bit better like this here. I don't really like this. It'd just be nice if it could sort of clone the colours there. And I suppose it's done an okay job. Um, so, yeah, saying that I will crop this in at a later date anyway. So that's the that's the heel tool, shall we say. And then we've got crop here. See, what I quite like about this is that you can select like a square, but what you can then do is you can... Um, based on this square I've just closed that menu down I could just click the machine learning so it'll give me the best crop at a square as well which I really um, which I really like and just just as a, as a coincidence if I click done now it will try and save the image as is and then you would have to open it up again and edit it so don't click done until you've finished editing an image okay so what I'm going to do here now is we're going to go through the sliders which I suppose is the um, the important part the white balance machine learning everything you can have an ml and it's like lightroom's equivalent of auto right so um so here do i want to do anything with the temperature really simple sliders up or down or you can choose colors and um, likewise with a tint hue and saturation what do i want to do with that turn on by default this is quite nice so if something's off because you turn it on here if something's off you can have it to turn on by default so it automatically comes on the next time you open it and you can also choose to lock it after you have edited which is quite nice you know so i've still got my slider here just to give you a um, look at what we're editing and what we're not so i'm just going to increase the exposure a little bit here reduce the highlights um, and again reduce the shadows i'm just going to move this over so i can see exactly what's going on reduce that brightness a little bit and then up the contrast quite a bit black point make it a little bit yeah make it a little bit darker i suppose um, and then i'm just going to lock that just for the time being and then i'll come to the master sliders um, and these are something that i have on by default i'm going to decrease the shadows you can look at it in a in a different way as well by the way these sliders you can look at it um, in color wheels or you can actually look at them in sliders i prefer them to be in color wheel so here's the shadows i'm going to reduce the shadows reduce the mid-tones and you can increase the color intensity or color saturation of these um, of these sliders as well and then i'm going to increase the highlights and look let me just show you where the colors it deepens the gold color um, but i'm just going to leave it pretty much where it is and then you can have selective colors so you can edit just colors so if we were just going to edit the reds we could make all the reds really pop. I'm just going to turn off those selective colors and then levels. Um, you can adjust the levels as well. So like the 
the darks here and the whites here is another good way of adjusting those tones and then the curves um, let me just do a nice sort of um, standard S I'm just going to move this over for now and just so I can see what's going on properly so I'm really rushing this And then we can have a, um, a sharpen as well. Um, let me just have a look at the intensity on this. So let me move this across and you'll see. You'll see the difference and then the radius. So that's quite nice. I can just turn that off for now and we can look at it in a minute. So that's the sharpness. And then the overall sort of adjustment that I've made to this image, we can adjust by this slider at the bottom, or we can just reset the adjustments. This is the type of style, the edit that the client wants, so that's what I will um, sort of be looking to achieve with the um, with the feel of this, this image to show you. Um, I'm just gonna add a little bit of a vignette to this, just to give me that finished sort of look that I was talking about earlier on. Um, and then reduce the black point a little bit so it's just a little bit less and then soften that up just a little bit again so the focus really is on the center piece of the image so if I was going to use this edit I would then want to do something later in some other app to clean up so these reflections and stuff I wouldn't have them go out to the customer with reflections of the light in here i would tidy all them up in something like photoshop or pixelmator pro which i will come on to in the very next tutorial actually so if you've got a mac and you've got pixelmator pro then these are the, the the type of things that you can edit in there it's not just a photo editing app you can also use it for oh sorry sorry like let's say a lightroom type lightroom classic type app it's also a great um um, Photoshop app as well so it's Lightroom Classic and Photoshop all in one um, probably with a, a little a, a few a few less features should I say and again once you're learning how to use these um, you know things become second nature it's really really easy the difference in in start to finish you can see massive difference and, I, and I've been you know like I said really um, really sort of blase with editing and adjusting this so this is um, if I if I want to do it if I'm done click done and it will say allow pixelmator to modify this photo allow or don't allow um, yeah modify it so then that photo when I select it it looks like this but yeah that's the um, that's pixelmator photo um, pre comprehensive run through I suppose and a demonstration of all the tools great little app and um, very cheap UK $7.99 I should imagine it would be the same in in US as well $7.99 something like that and it's a um, top little app really really good I hope this um, video has helped you out and remember to look out for that Pixelmate Pro um, video on Mac coming very soon take care everybody bye